Hello, I'm Eddie abdul Haq, the Small Business Liaison in EEOC's Birmingham District. I'm one of several small business liaisons across the country. We're happy to answer your questions, train you and your staff, and provide information about the laws that the EEOC enforces. As a small business owner, you may be wondering, what can or can't I do during the hiring process? We've created several videos to help you out. This video provides examples of questions that are illegal to ask applicants under the laws enforced by the EEOC. We've also created videos about the types of questions that are fine to ask and the types of questions that may be problematic to ask. Finally, we created a video with some tips that may be helpful as you hire new employees. We encourage you to check out all of these videos. Right now, let's find out more about the types of questions that you can't ask. Are you taking any medication currently? Well, I take pills to help with my blood pressure, but I do that in the mornings before work. Yeah, yeah I know the drill. I have to take those too. I love my folks, but I could have done without inheriting their high blood pressure. Do your folks have high blood pressure problems too? You know, I'm not sure. I've had some issues with workers' comp recently. You ever file one of those complaints? No. These types of questions are illegal for you to ask under federal law. Here, the application asks for family medical history, medical conditions that run in a person's family. In addition, the boss asks the applicant whether her parents had blood pressure problems. You cannot ask questions about an applicant's genetic information, such as questions about the applicant's family medical history. There are different rules when it comes to questions about an applicant's medical condition, depending on whether you ask them before or after you've hired that person. Before hire, you cannot ask questions that are likely to reveal whether an applicant has a disability. For example, you cannot ask applicants if they have any health problems, whether or what types of medication they're taking or whether they filed workers' compensation claims. There is an exception. If you are a federal contractor with an affirmative action program, you may ask applicants to voluntarily self-identify as having a disability. There are different rules about disability-related questions after you make a job offer and after the employee starts working. Want to know more about the types of questions that are fine to ask? or the types of questions that may be problematic, check out our other hiring videos. And if you prefer to speak with someone directly, feel free to contact your local small business liaison. We're happy to help.